I uh, do a lot of laparoscopic hysterectomies. That's the number one procedure I do. And there was a couple of aspects of that procedure that were always challenging. Uh, one was uh, securing the uterine arteries, which requires uh, some type of surgical energy. And the other one was uh, closing the vaginal cuff. And a, a total laparoscopic hysterectomy or even a robotic hysterectomy you have to cut uh, the cervix at the level of the vaginal cuff. And then once the cervix and uterus is removed, cuff closure is a very important aspect of that procedure. And traditionally, uh, cuff closure was done with a needle driver and a tissue grasper. And it continues to be done, but it, it's very, very difficult. And as a matter of fact, uh, the number one reason I believe surgeons move from straight stick laparoscopy to robotic approach to hysterectomy was to get a wristed instruments that would help cuff closure. So uh, looking at my own technique, when I was exposed to the LibsMed Art Essential instrument, I was able to notice that the Art Essential was very ergonomic uh, it was a surgical instrument that had multi-jointed type of uh, design to it and allowed me really to get a full range of motion. I was intrigued with the end effector of the instruments, uh, allowing the user to control the end of that instrument in all directions. So I started... Uh, doing some cases with the device and realized, gosh, this is uh, not just a cool device because of the ability to uh, get that 360 range of motion and actually target the tissue. But after the first few cases, I really felt more efficient as a surgeon. I felt like uh, it was taking less time to, pl to complete a cuff closure. Uh, the tissue and the ability to control the needle with the art essential device was uh, getting very uh, intriguing and fascinating where before needle control was always an issue where I was able to control the needle much easier. Uh, tissue penetration because of the uh, ability to uh, articulate the end of the device and get a 90 degree position to the tissue grasper that was holding the tissue, I was able to penetrate through the tissue easier. So my initial experience was the learning curve, which we all have to go through. But very quickly, I realized that the art essential device, the hand uh, needle holder, I became efficient. It took less time. The tissue penetration was uh, very acceptable and it became easier. So I moved into cuff closure using the Art Essential device. The, the key with uh, targeting tissue is articulation. You know, when you're targeting a point, uh, for example, cuff closure, you want to triangulate. And triangulation is difficult with straight stick instruments because they're straight instruments. They have no uh, angulation articulation. So to close the vaginal cuff uh, in the past, we would either do an ipsilateral trocar approach where the surgeon standing on the left side of the patient with two trocars on the left side of the abdominal wall and you would come in so your shoulders and arms were more at a, a same angle approach to the target, or you would stretch across the abdomen with trocars, one on the left, one on the right, which really was a very um, difficult approach for most OBGYNs to, to do. When you add an art essential articulating device where you have 360 degree rotation and articulation and the wristed movement, it really makes the procedure and that targeting uh, more efficient. Where I can come in with the device from a contralateral trocar, 
I can flex my wrist. The instrument in defector of the instrument is flexed. I can angulate and rotate. I can then target the tissue in the exact angle and get a better bite on the vaginal mucosa. So it's more a cognitive approach to be more precise and to get a good approximation of the vaginal mucosa and epithelium, which has proven in my experience to have superior outcomes. Meaning when I see that patient at two weeks and I do a bivalve speculum exam, the cuff tissue is approximated. Uh, there's no granulation tissue. The angles of the vaginal cuff are uh, healing uh, appropriately. There's less post-op uh, uh, drainage or bleeding uh, that the patient reports to me at two weeks. So I feel like I'm getting a, a superior cuff closure by the ability to angulate the needle to penetrate through the tissue and then approximate uh, when I tie down the suture. Those are important parts of uh, the tissue approximation on vaginal cuff closure. And the artificial central device really allows me to do that in a comfort zone, whether I'm ipsilateral or crossing across the abdomen with tr uh, triangulation. So it really has advanced, in my opinion, the ability to work in let me just say a robotic fashion, because now instead of a straight limited needle grasper, I have a robotic like laparoscopic instrument that gives me the confidence and gives me the ability to close that cuff in my mind, a more efficient way. And that's really rewarding as a surgeon. Uh, the other aspect of uh, the art essential device, not only is it a needle grasper, but you can do tissue dissection and you can angulate. So I can come in a midline approach and angulate that device to the right pelvis or left pelvis and dissect in open planes. So it's more than just a needle driver. It certainly is beautiful as a needle driver, the way it works. But in those more difficult cases where... The reality is in complex cases where the anatomy is distorted, the robot does show some surgical advantage with tissue dissection. But without needing to dock a robot, add that cost, uh, have that um, whole team involved with that room, tying up that OR room, I can do tissue dissection and also have the capability of adding unipolar and bipolar surgical energy to the art essential articulating uh, devices, instruments, hand pieces, and do a difficult dissection with the articulation and dissection and opening the instrument, adding energy. So it really is a amazing instrument. I call it the lives med magic, the lives med magic of the this type of instrument that really allows me to be efficient, have more confidence and showing the same or even better outcomes in some instances. So it really is a game changer, in my opinion, on what I'm able to do uh, intraoperatively with these devices. Yeah, you know, any new technology requires training, right? So anything we do that's new and different requires our ability to train and practice. You have a double-jointed in defector with the lives med uh, instruments. The user controls the instrument and the way I move my wrist on the handle of the instrument uh, then produces the in defector uh, movement. So I have to be in sync. So when I move my hand up, the instrument goes up, down, it goes down, left, right, it goes left or right. And you're able to do these movements and initially, you have to be cognitive. You have to be able to think, if I move this way, the instrument's going to move this way. So the learning curve for me was about 10 cases. I practiced on the pelvic trainer in the inanimate model on a tabletop, uh, which was very, very helpful. 
uh, LivesMed has produced some training videos that are extremely uh, detailed. And I watch those videos. I think it's really important to learn uh, from the experts, if you will. So after watching videos, working on the pelvic trainer, and then moving into surgical cases, the learning curve for me was 10 cases. Now it's very intuitive. I, I'm in sync with the instrument. The instrument's in sync with me, my movements. And when that occurs, the light bulb goes off and your efficiency goes way up. So like any new technology, there is a learning curve. And you have to be persistent and practice and realize it's going to take you a little bit longer initially. But once that rhythm and that uh, movement in your brain matches that instrument and the movement of your hand, you know, is going to be in sync with the instrument, it really becomes very enjoyable. And then you move the needle into what you're capable of doing. Like cuff closure was the first thing I wanted to focus on. Now we can use this uh, art essential device on myomectomy, uh, ovarian uh, cystectomy, closure of the ovary, peritoneal uh, uh, closure on excision of endometriosis. I mean, this instrument is it can be used on any type of OBGYN gynecological surgery procedure. So it's been very, very enlightening to, to be able to use innovations and technology that enhance the procedure, cut the cost, and allow you to have good outcomes. And you know, the ultimate goal, right, is the benefit of the patient, that the patient does well, uh, and that your technique is the art of surgery, the art essential part of your surgery, if you will, using these technologies really is very, very rewarding when that patient comes back in the office and has done well because of your uh, techniques that you were able to use. So my initial experience with the Art Essential instrument was the needle driver. And that really uh, opened my eyes and allowed me to uh, practice with the technology and understand the capabilities of this instrument. And then we realized that, well, gosh, we could make laparoscopic hysterectomy. Then we realized we could make laparoscopic hysterectomy easier. So with the art essential ability to articulate through the 360 rotation, I can be on an ipsilateral approach coming from a left trocar, for example, with a uterine manipulator, move that uterus to the left, and I can bring an art essential bipolar device and come in and bipolar the uterine ovarian artery and vein, and then cut with scissor, move down to the broad ligament from that left approach, I can secure the uterines with a bipolar art essential device without needing to come out of that trocar, moving it to the other trocar to approach the uterines. So now I'm starting to dance. I'm starting to realize there's more movement. There's more approaches that I can advance to being able to be more efficient. And that's the fun of surgery, right? That's the fun of being an, a surgeon with a more um, artistic approach where movement becomes important. So with the ability to flex the instrument, articulate, have surgical energy with a cold pair of scissors, I can pretty much do the whole hysterectomy with two instruments and a pair of scissors. So now I'm cutting calls as far as needing advanced energy devices or other types of energy that are maybe disposable or what have you uh, that are more expensive. So I think we're just honestly scratching the surface with the LivesMed Art, Search, uh, Art Essential devices. The LivesMed Art Essential devices, uh, I think, will expand our capability and our knowledge with the uh, type of instrument these are and what we're able to do. And it's really keeps me motivated as a minimally invasive surgeon to uh, see how far we can take it.